Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off round 2 for Group C of the tournament. Three matches to tuck into here, starting us off with Mosluck going up against Lozenger, Carnotaurus Man going up against a Stranger Kid. Could be a big match at the bottom, that could be. And then MEGE10 taking a crack at the Champions team. So yeah, matches top and bottom and somewhere in between. So let's get on with the somewhere in between matchup first, shall we? Right, in the red corner, for Mouse, for Mouse we have Augustinia. Mouse suffering an opening round defeat against, I think it was the champ, yeah, it was the champion team, wasn't it? It was a, it was a tight game in fairness. Mouse, Mouse could have easily won, but they didn't. Okay, we are on the meadow, which is good news for Mouse, because we have an, an Uluru Titan, which does have terrain advantage on this field. Ooh, could that, could that help Mouse win this match? I mean, terrain advantage didn't help the last time. Might help her this time, though. Um, Lozenge doesn't have any grass or fire dinosaurs, so... Yeah, the terrain advantage will be Mouse's and Mouse's alone. Right, as for Lozenge's first dino, we have the Mega Raptor. Lozenge, despite a slow start against Stranger Kid, did get, did get the win in the end. Backing up the Mega Raptor, we got the Super Baryonyx. So we can move on three. Okay, well, this group is easy because everyone wants to swap when HP below half. Except for Carnotaurus Man, but, you know. Always one, isn't there? Ooh, I, is this going to be a tough one to call? I feel like with a terrain advantage, maybe Mouse can sn snatch it with a terrain advantage. But we'll see how it plays out. Oh, well, um, that's not a good start, is it? A crit from the Mega Raptor there. Worst possible start for Mouse. Well, this is a fast and furious start from Lozange. And look at this from August, look at this from the Augustinia. Just can't get going. The tie. Mouse actually landing damage. The blunder effect in, nullifying the rock move of the Mega Raptor. Another tie. Will the Augustinia get his swap off? The answer to that is no. And well, it's kind of wasted Mayfly, so yeah, it's kind of a waste. But so far, so good from Lozange. Now, this get this changes things because the Mega Raptor has the type advantage over Uluru Titan. But the Uluru Titan will have terrain advantage here. So, in fact, Mouse will get a crit. Could that be what she needs to get back in this contest? Despite the type disadvantage, it's, it's still going to do a decent amount of damage, this crit. I think she would have rather saved it for the Baryonyx. Ooh, hello, what have we got here? Nature's Blessing. Right, the Mega Raptor will attempt the swap here. And, because everything seems to be going Loz and Jay's way in this match, they will get the swap. Uh, don't know. Yeah, it's not looking good for Mouse. Okay, that's one. I mean, if she can kill the Barry quick, but, you know, struggling to get hits here. Really not looking good. Used, already used the terrain advantage of twice. Oops, a tie. That might help. Ooh, another hit. Well, Mouse is finally getting hits on the board, but is it too little too late? But here we go. Lozlo J gets the hit here. It's game over. And it's another bonus point win secure. Oh, he's not going to get the hit. And the Mega Raptor is going to get hit as well. Because the swap failed. And all of a sudden. I mean, I still say Lozlo J is in the driving seat in complete control. In control of this match. Because the Mega Raptor is still a factor. But Mouse certainly going down fighting. Well, there goes the Barry. 
now for the shredded machine. And honestly, if Mouse pulls off this comeback, I'd be, I'm going to be really impressed. Because one hit from the Mega Raptor will probably end this match. And the ties are slowly wearing the Ulu and Titan down. A green impulse is what's needed. Speak of the devil, green impulse. Mouse is getting right back in this contest. Boosh! Well, look at this all of a sudden. We're, le we're level, we're level. Oh, Mouse has won it! Well, somehow, Mouse has won this match. After, well, let's be honest, a horrific start. Like, there was domination from Loz and Jay, but Mouse out of nowhere has won the match. But Loz and Jay will get a losing bonus point, but Mouse getting off to the win. Bouncing back after the defeat in round one. Ooh, that could be a crucial win, especially in such a tight group. That could be a really big result, that. Big result. If Loz and Jay got the bonus point win... That would take them up to 8 points. But now, all of a sudden, it, it, you know, they're still in touch and distance. Right. Let's get on with our next matchup, shall we? Right. A big game at the bottom now, especially given Mouse's victory earlier. In the red corner, we have got the Parasauronicus for Stranger Kid for... Well, yeah, for Stranger Kid. Um, yeah, Parasauronicus kind of struggled against the Mega Raptor. But most dinosaurs do. And it's probably going to struggle against... Oh, hang on. No, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Back in at the parrot, we got Ampelosaurus. And none of our guys have alpha dinosaurs, so there'll be no terrain advantages this time. I mean, Ampelosaurus did all right. Ah, no, we know my notes. And yes, the, the Parasaurus is probably going to struggle against this Carnotaurus of Carnotaurus Man. Although, any 8 we 10 had no problem shredding this Carnotaurus. I mean, it was. Well, it took like two seconds. It was dead. The power of Blitz type. Backing up the Carno, we got Super Mimus. And yeah, Carnotaurus Man was really unlucky with the Blitz type, the Quick Strike, the Terrain. Yeah, it, it, everything that could have gone against them went against them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do this time. And with the type of advantage a Carnotaurus has. I think they will definitely be put up much more of a fight in this match. And as I said, that type advantage could be key without the terrain without terrain advantage as well. No terrain advantage in this field because we don't have alpha dinosaurs. Okay, so yeah, Carnotaurus Man, the only guy in this group that wants to swap when HP's in the red. So I don't need my notes. I don't need them. Rubbish. Load of rubbish. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's... Ooh, ooh, hello. We got a shockwave from the Ampelosaurus. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Well, it's a good start from a stranger kid. We'll get off another crep. Well, he, will get off... he could get off another big foot assault. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You can't go pink. You can't go rock. <laughs> You'll have to settle for paper. You'll have to settle for getting tanked by another big foot assault. Of course, one crit from the Carnotaurus, and all of a sudden, Carnotaurus Man is in the lead. So, yeah. <laughs> good start from Parasaurolophus. Good start from Stranger Kid. I mean, they had a good start last time against the Mega Raptor, and then Wasn't Jay just took control of the match and won. Oh, is this scissors? Is it going to be scissors? Oh, <laughs> don't want to get hit by that hurricane beat. Let me tell you that. You don't want to get hit by that hurricane beat. That will do a serious amount of damage. But this Carnotaurus is not happening for it so far. Alright, here we go. There's a hit from the Carnotaurus. Boosh! And I think that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's below half, so it's time to swap for the power. Ooh. That hurricane beat. We got that off. That Parasaurus was dead. But a two platoon crush coming in. And this Carnotaurus so far is getting crushed. Even with a type advantage. 
Oh, wow, it's dead. Well, it's down to Sukumimus. Carnotaurus, man, really not having a good tournament so far. Really struggling. Oh, it's a crap. But yeah, this has been a real struggle for Carnotaurus tonight. They just can't get going. They just cannot get going. They're getting no momentum whatsoever. Okay, there's a hit. There's a light recovery as well. Well, I'll be impressed if they can come back from this. I mean, it's not that big of a deficit. I mean, Mouse had a bigger deficit than this. And she came back from win. Aqua Javelin there. Useful. Okay, yeah, that's below half. So it's time to swap for the Ampelosaurus and he gets it. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage. This Futala Cannon will do a lot of damage. A bonus point win. Looking likely for Stranger Kid. And Carnotaurus Man could end up being cut. Oh, we killed it. <laughs> Didn't need the swap. Wow. Wait, what type is this at? Ampelosaurus. Might be Hunter type. Oh, no, no. It's counter type. I'm pretty sure it's counter type. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? A bonus point win for Stranger Kid and a dis another disappointing result for Carnotaurus Man. Right, on to our third matchup now. And well, given that it's M E E ten and the and the blitz type dinosaurs, we're probably gonna be in for another quick match. Okay, we are on the meadow field, thank goodness for that. <laughs> right, in the red corner, for M E G E ten, we got the Centrosaurus, the Blitz type Eucentrosaurus. It even has Quick Strike as well. Yes, it does have Quick Strike. Backing up the Eucentrosaurus, we got the Blitz type Delta Dromius, which does not have Quick Strike, so it's just Blitz type. <laughs> yes, any cheap E10 trying try out the Blitz tactic. Well, it certainly worked for them in the first match, didn't it? Okay then, in the blue corner, for the Champions team, we got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Okay, yeah, no terrain advantages to worry about because neither of our guys have a grasp or a fire dinosaur. The champions team getting that narrow victory over Mouse in the first round, even insulting her by healing up to deny the losing bonus point. Backing up the Cavmo, we got Rugops. This Rugops, the king of the Kakashin dinosaurs, shredding its competition with that ninja attack. Of course, because of the uh, blitz effect, Emmy will be starting with a crit. And then Quick Strike will play out, so then the next move will be Scissors. Okay, so hit the button on 10, got a Blitz effect. Let's see what happens this time. Ooh, but this time. This time. Emmy GE10 getting hit. Oh, bloody hell. Well, let's see if they have better luck this time with a Quick Strike. Nope! <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it went so well for MEGP10 last time. This time, however, it's not going well. And now the Delta Dromius will have a go at Scissors. Ooh, he gets it this time, though. MEGP10 getting the crit with the Blitz type Delta Dromius. Oh, I don't need this now. <laughs> they both want to swap when HP's below half. Whoa, look at that. Big damage done. And the swap's going to fail as well. MGE10 coming right back into this compass. Ooh. Counter Blitz. Well, it would have come in handy if the, if the champion team didn't attempt to swap there. Because he could have got the swap off pretty much guaranteed, I think. Actually, I should test that. If you get off Counter Blitz, do you get a swap? I think you do. Well, there is... Well, speak of the devil, there is the Counter Blitz. I actually forgot about it. Oh, there goes the Chasmosaurus. But nope, Counter Blitz is going to happen. A Blitz of, the, of their own. And some poison as well. Oop, that's a tie. I think that's going to be lethal for Chasmosaurus. Yes, it is. 
Well, that means we be E10 coming back into this contest. Ooh, we got some bron wind bronze dinosaurs. But the champion's team still in the lead. The move breaker playing out there. Ooh! Here comes the ninja attack. Rugop's gonna get a taste of his own medicine. Oh, they both, actually, yeah, they both got ninja attack. And actually, yeah, the champions team have already got the losing bonus point because the Delta Dromius can't heal. And now, I think MHAE 10 has just secured the losing bonus point. But can they get more? Oh, the champions team's gonna snatch it. The ninja attack's coming in, and MHAB 10 is gonna be defeated. The blitz type effect didn't work out for them this time. I mean, you said Rosaurus died in like, instantly. <laughs> Maybe that's in. That's interesting, actually. I think I have a theory that I've just come up with on the spot. I think if you fail to get the quick strike off, I think you take more damage. That's really interesting. Okay, Dinosaur King community, we need to test this. I think you take more damage if the quick strike fails. But anyway, quick strike fails or not, MEJP10 is defeated, but does get a losing bonus point because the Rugops' HP was in the red. Right, let's have a look at how our, our group C stands. Wow, really, really tight group, group again. You got the champions team up top on six points, and you got MEGP10 and Lozange getting those losing bonus points on five points. You have Stranger Kid getting off the mark this round with our big bonus point win over Carnotaurus Man. And then you have Ma Morsela also getting off the mark in this tournament. And then Carnotaurus Man rooted to the bottom. Especially the first match, I think if Loz and Jay got the bonus point win, which I feel like they should have, they would have gone to 8 points. Yeah, they'd be 8 points clear of Morslet and Carnotaurus, man. Let's see who's playing who in round 3. So, we have Loz and Jay going up against Carnotaurus, man. Ooh, a big game for Carnotaurus, man. That massive. Morslet going up against MEJE10. And then, Stranger Kid going up against the Champions team. So, yes. Still all to play for in Group C, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, please comment, and thanks for watching. And until then, this is Dream Gamer signing out. <laughs>